Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to a little topic that I need to discuss because it's pissing me off. This is for all the un un uninitiated people, this is the area where you fight Terramorphous. This is going to be a Terramorphous fight with me and two buddies. I am using an amp shield that gives me I think plus 30,000 damage on top of my our normal damage and it's pretty ridiculous. It's not as ridiculous as some of them, some of them are really really big like a plus 50,000 shield which you're going to see at the end of this video. But suffice to say, there is there is a shield on this game. It is an extremely rare drop from a, a specific character who you can kill. When you get this shield, what it does is whenever you have full shield and there's a red bar around those figures, you will do massive damage against anything. You'll notice every shot I do on a critical point does about 300,000 points of damage towards Terramorphous. It is ridiculously strong. And... A lot of people are complaining about this fucking shield, and I don't understand why. For instance, this boss fight right now, this is the equivalent of Chromarax from Borderlands, only he's significantly easier. This spot I'm in right here is a really cheeky spot where you can take almost no damage if you know what you're doing. Uh, there are certain strategies to dodging, but it doesn't take much effort at all. And There's a lot of people crying that this needs to be patched, this shield, because it's too powerful and it breaks the game. Which I find hilarious because this is Borderlands, guys. This is not fucking, you know, this is not an online shooter. This is not a player versus player oriented game. This is where a bunch of you and your friends try and get really good guns, get really powerful, and shit stomp enemies and bosses. And all this shield does is enable you to do that ridiculously well. And people are fucking complaining. People are complaining so much so that a representative of Gearbox is now addressing the, the shield and having a look into it. Which to me is completely counterintuitive because the entire point of this game is to become strong. And for all these people that think that this shield is too strong or is, you know, it takes the fun out of the game, don't fucking use it. You know what I mean? It's that simple. Don't use it. Like, I'm going to be bringing a lot of Terramorphous fights on my channel. A bunch of them are not even going to uh, feature that kind of equipment because I want to have really interesting and really fun encounters with this boss. The only problem is, it's very difficult to do that because the boss design is dog shit. It is. And that's why I have absolutely no problems about this weapon or this shield or this combination of weapons and shields that do severe damage to it because this boss can knock you off this area, he two shots you when you have the most ridiculous amount of life and shields, you can't evade his attacks because they hit such an area of effect, it's a damage race, that's all it is, there's no skill, there's no strategy, there's no fun, it's bullshit, and if it were a better designed boss, I might probably have a bigger issue with this, but, you know, Gearbox have put these things into the game to enable you to become more powerful. The entire reason people play these games is to get bigger and better weapons, bigger and better damage numbers. And this shield enables you to get really, really good damage numbers. And, like, I've been playing games for over 20 years, guys. I remember, you know, way back when, when there used to be something called an ultimate weapon in a game that made ridiculous amounts of destruction wherever it went. Look at Doom, BFG. You fire that gun, you win. Just look at any of those games. Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy X, you could get your character stats to 255. Every stat to 255. Ridiculous amounts of damage and life. The, why would you want to patch that? Why would you want to stop the ability to be, make yourself stronger? And to me, the only criticism in this is, sure, it's a shield that's doing all the work, but if you lose your shield, it doesn't work anymore. So it's perfectly balanced. And I just... Why would you cry about something that doesn't hurt anyone? All it does is help people. It helps people have more fun with the game. It, 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 I just, I don't understand it at all. And one thing I would say that they could patch would be so that the damage calculation isn't per pellet for the shotguns. Because that's when the damage gets really stupid. And there's videos of people killing Terramorphous in, in like a second. People tearing him down really quickly. But one thing you've got to bear in mind, guys, is these people are using a setup that you can't realistically do unless you spec directly towards that kind of damage. Like, all these videos are generally with the Gunzerker wielding two powerful shotguns using the B and destroying him. But if you tried to do it with any other character, you would not kill him half as fast. Because that's just not how it works. Like, 
that that one character does so much damage because you can spec that way. And don't get me wrong, this boss doesn't last all that long because these weapons do so much damage, but he drops shit loot. It's a badly designed fight, so I do not see a problem with it. And there's so many people on the internet crying about something that that does no wrong. <laughs> it just makes no sense to me at all. And you know, don't use it. It's that simple. But don't cry and ask developers to patch something when there's players that are enjoying it. It's just fucking stupid. That's to me. It, it it's it's like Mass Effect Bioware staff patching the Falcon when it hurt nobody. If anything, it just helped you. You know, beat unfair odds. And it just it it baffles me. I'm, I don't have words, guys. We've got Resident Evil 6 coming out with the most broken as dog shit mechanics ever in a fucking video game. And these people want to patch something that's so fun and so, you know, it makes the game more interesting. Because Borderlands 2, this might not be a popular opinion, folks, but when you don't have good guns and you don't have good equipment, Borderlands 2 is not that fun. It isn't. Nothing dies, you're shooting everything for days, it's not that fun. And Gearbox can't program a difficulty because they just fucking scale everything. And I've said this numerous times. Like, if you don't think Gearbox make, you know, if, you, if you're if you of the belief that they balance games and they make games super fun, join someone's game who's two levels higher than you and see how effective you are. Because you're not. You're fucking useless. You're a flea. And it's bullshit. And, you know, the best thing about the B is it narrows that gap. You join someone's game and you can actually be an asset. And it's just... It, uh, fucking it's almost as frustrating as watching all these people defend resident evil when they've been playing it for for a year that to me is just the ultimate fucking irony but thanks for watching guys i had to get that out of my system and uh, if you disagree with me that's perfectly fine it's what it's all about folks but i just i don't get these people